بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا إلى يوم الدين أما بعد The issue of dreams it's something which is makes uh, is something which makes some people very happy and it's something which also causes a lot of grief to other people there are just so many people that constantly become really you can say besotted uh, really engrossed in a particular dream it then makes them really paranoid and essentially what this is all about is that this is normally to do with nightmares now i want to clarify something the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said المنام من الله والحلم من الشيطان. Dreams are from Allah سبحانه وتعالى. And the حلم, which is a particular type of dream, that which causes fright, it's a nightmare essentially, is from the شيطان. So first and foremost, we understand that bad dreams are from the شيطان, though they are from Allah سبحانه وتعالى, because Allah is the creator of everything. But specifically, when a bad dream happens, the shaitan has got a lot to do with it. You might think, why is it that shaitan, or when you see a bad dream, it could be related to something that happened 10 years ago. It could be something that happened to when you were very young. Something that happened to somebody that uh, you know very well that you love, for example. And it could be just seeing them in some really bad state. Um, not to say that any dream that frightens you has to always be from the shaitan. It could actually be a message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It could be something else as well. But in general, whenever we see a, a dream that is considered to be nightmarish, that is frightening, it's going to be from the shaitan. Now you're wondering, how is it possible for all of these particular details? Because sometimes you, in your dream, you're recalling something that happened so long ago and it's got a really bad twist to it. Where's all these details come from? Well, remember, every human being has a shaitan with them, which is designated for that particular person from the beginning, from the birth. Hadith of Muslim speaks about the shaitans being designated with a human being. When a person does dhikr, uh, the shaitan retreats, it comes back, waswasil khannas, everybody has a shaitan. Prophet ﷺ said, I have a shaitan as well, but mine has been subdued, or mine has become a Muslim. Right? Mine has been overcome. But every human being has a shaitan that tells them to do bad things, that whispers. So having said that, it's not far-fetched to realize, you know, to, 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 to understand now that these really particular details that you might see in your dream, the shaitan's been with you and has retained all of this information. He can bring in these bits of information. Now... The thing is that the shaitan is quite pathetic in the sense that if you read A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem, the shaitan will retreat. As opposed to a very persistent friend as such, like a human, human shaitan. When they want you to do something, you could be sitting and reading A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem as many times as you want, and they're not going to retreat. They're going to keep coming at you. Oh, it's only just do it once. You know, you have to be with me. Come on, you can't let me down. You can't do this, you can't do that. When it comes to dreams, the Prophet ﷺ said one thing very similar, uh, very simple. He said, spit lightly to your left three times. When, what that is like, right? Not like, you know, it's not to, you know, muster up a lot of saliva and like throw it out. It's just an act, a symbolic gesture of uh, degrading someone, right? Of thwarting someone, repelling someone. Shaitan says, turn around and go to sleep. And subhanAllah, you must have realized, you, must have, you may have noticed this, but dreams are the fastest things to be forgotten. Because they're, 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 there's no reality to them as such. They're just khiyalat, they're imagination, just thoughts. Adghathu ahlam. That's what the king was told. The king, the, the Malik Misr, uh, during the time of Yusuf salam, when he saw this great dream, about what was to happen, the, the years of drought and the years of prosperity, he was told by his people who were not very good dream interpreters, أَدْغَاثُ أَحْلَامِ وَمَا نَحْنُ بِتَأْوِيلِ الْأَحْلَامِ بِعَالِمِينَ أَدْغَاثُ أَحْلَامِ أَدْغَاثُ أَحْلَامِ means um, scattered thoughts. Scattered thoughts 
means these are just thoughts that you've been thinking about in the last few days and now it's coming in the form of a dream. When, when, when that happens, people get really paranoid, subhanAllah. And they start getting really worried that I've seen it in my dream now. Well, you've been thinking about it, you've been besotted with this. Just say, Audhu Billah, get out of it. So if it's a truly an evil dream, then it's from the shaitan anyway. Otherwise, it's khiyalat. Now, uh, when, when we say it's completely from the, the shaitan, when we say that we, we're speaking about something that you haven't really been thinking about, uh, something 10 years old, and suddenly you've seen a bad dream. Maybe you didn't read your du'as properly before going to sleep. If you read your du'as, you'll be protected more from that. The other thing is that it depends on the time that you see the dream as well. Going, uh, I mean, let's just finish off the, the one fact is that if you do see a bad dream, literally the Prophet ﷺ said, Spit, uh, uh, lightly to your left, turn around and go to sleep. Don't ever tell anybody that. You see, what happens sometimes, you see even a good dream. You may see some really pious dream, and by the end of the day, the details of that, if you haven't said it to anybody, if you haven't rehearsed it to yourself, if you haven't voiced it over yourself and kind of written it down or anything like that, details of that will become really, really hazy and you'll start forgetting it. In one or two days, you'll be totally forgotten. You know, we forget even things that happen in real life in a few days, thanks to forgetfulness. If it wasn't for forgetfulness as a human faculty, can you believe it? that we would have so, such great problems because all of our losses would constantly add up and uh, our losses will, will, will be all combined and we'd feel as bad as we did the day that it actually occurred. The benefit of forgetfulness is that we start getting used to it. We start thinking about other things. So we need to ignore it. Shaitan is going to prey on us. Shaitan is going to prey on us if we become frightened by it yes this is a guy you know when you want to bother someone right you know when you're young or you want to just kind of mess around with someone you're normally not going to pick on someone who doesn't really care who's so laid back you can say whatever you want to them they're just going to sit back and do nothing normally it's people who get irritated they're preyed on by bullies and others because they that the face they make the the expressions that they do when they break down and they start crying then they become emotionally affected by it that really bothers them so people who are mean they prey on that kind of attitude that kind of mentality that kind of behavior shaitan is the same thing shaitan finds a person that is going to be able to frighten he's going to frighten them more he wants to frighten them to take them away from the deen from piety from trusting allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem go to sleep inshallah you'll overcome it now if you've already been engrossed in a dream and you've been frightened about something for a few days because you've really built it up Obviously, it's going to take a bit longer to come out of it. Pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and try to forget it. I mean, I get so many emails, subhanAllah, right? So many emails, it's about a dream. And I have to say, look, I don't interpret dreams, but yours just seems so clearly from the shaitan. Just a'udhu billah, just try to forget it. It's very difficult to forget it after a few days because you've been so besotted. You've been going over it over. You've told so many different people, right? You've been thinking about it. It'll take a bit longer, but that will also, inshallah, be, be, be removed. So that, that, that is specifically to speak about the bad dreams. Um, if you see a dream before Fajr, meaning r around Fajr time, then those are most likely going to be more truer. Because the Prophet said that in the Astakal Ru'ya Bil Ashar, that the truest of dreams are seen at that time. If it's seen afterwards in your extended sleep, then uh, they're, they're less likely to be truthful. Having said that, it doesn't mean that every dream you see at Fajr time are going to be definitely true and that's something you have to be really concerned about and so on. If you see a good dream, then it's a good idea if you want to, to go and seek a interpretation for it. But again, don't become so, uh, so fixated by your dreams that your whole life is then run by your dreams. For example, when you're doing istikhara as, as well, you don't have to necessarily see a dream. There are people who, until they don't see a dream, then they'll think that my istikhara uh, is not uh, complete. I have to get somebody else to do it. Istikhara and a dream, the, there's not much of a connection between the two in the hadith. Yes, some people do see a dream. They see uh, uh, some glad tidings about something. Or maybe, maybe they see something negative about something they're making istikhara about in their dreams, but it's not necessary. So don't become too indulgent, uh, too, too engrossed. Uh, too infatuated 
and uh, paranoid when it comes to especially the bad ones because the Prophet said that Hulumu min shaytan A'udhu billahi min shaytan rajim and just pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the shaytan because remember shaytan knows everything about us from the time that we were um, from the time we were born so he's going to use that against us so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from bad dreams and from the shaytan uh, you know even if you wake up sweaty or whatever it doesn't matter just a'udhu billah turn around go to sleep don't tell don't tell it to others once you start telling it to others you've just solidified it and shaitan's going to start attacking you a bit more there's obviously then the fact that if you see the prophet sallallahu alaihi in your dream that's covered uh, you know uh, different in a different session anyway jazakallah khairan